Have you ever wondered how a burst of solar energy could impact our daily lives on Earth? NASA's latest observations have unveiled an M-class flare, raising questions and concerns about potential impacts on our planet. What does this mean for us, and are we prepared? The Sun is crucial in sustaining life on our planet, providing the energy necessary for various processes, ranging from photosynthesis to atmospheric transformations. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, has been vigilantly monitoring the Sun's behavior, and recent observations have brought to light the potential threat of an M-class solar flare. This solar flare class can still disrupt our technological systems and impact daily life on Earth. In today's video, we will discuss the recently detected M-class flare threat by NASA. But before we discuss the impacts and causes of M-flares, let us find out what is a solar flare. According to Dr. Ryan French, a solar physicist at the National Solar Observatory, and author of The Sun, Beginner's Guide to Our Local Star A Solar Flare, represents a transformation or discharge of energy within the Sun's atmosphere, occurring at a considerable distance from the central nuclear fusion processes. In this atmospheric region, magnetic fields hold sway, governing phenomena such as solar flares, eruptions, and sunspots. Essentially, all these activities associated with the Sun are intricately linked to the behavior of magnetic fields, Solar flares arise when there's an accumulation of energy in magnetic fields that seeks equilibrium. These fields aim to dissipate this energy, but they're constrained. This process results in the transference of energy from the magnetic fields to the heating of plasma, the production of light, and the acceleration of particles, culminating in what we observe as a solar flare, which travels to us at the speed of light. Approximately 50% of the time, Solar flares are accompanied by coronal mass ejections, which cause plasma expulsion from the sun. It's important to note that these two phenomena are distinct and only correlate about half of the time. It is possible to have flares without eruptions and vice versa. Unlike flares, eruptions cross space much slower, typically taking between 12 to 36 hours to reach Earth. As we move closer to the solar M flare, a phase in the solar cycle where solar activity peaks, the sun's activity is anticipated to intensify in the upcoming months. This peak is projected to occur around 2024 or 2025, and the current count of sunspots has already surpassed prior estimates. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, has indicated that a perilous M-class solar flare might be headed towards Earth. During this heightened activity phase, Earth might be exposed to various solar phenomena, including CMEs, solar flares, and storms, which could have potentially severe implications. Adding to the concerns, recent data from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, equipped with advanced instruments to monitor the sun, suggests that Earth might be directly in the path of a sunspot. This positioning raises the risk of powerful solar flares being directed our way, which could cause significant disruptions. Solar flares pose a significant threat to our planet, much like asteroids. When intense solar flares occur, they have the potential to disrupt power and radio signals, sometimes for extended periods ranging from hours to days. They can even produce mesmerizing auroras, increase radiation exposure for airline passengers, and even impact election results. Technological devices are especially susceptible to the effects of solar flares. When they strike Earth, Cosmic rays release various particles, including energetic neutrons, muons, peons, and alpha particles. Although these particles are not harmful to the human body, they can infiltrate integrated circuits, potentially causing damage and altering the data stored within them. With the solar maximum on the horizon, we can expect a surge in the sun's activity, resulting in an increased frequency of solar flares. Based on a report from spaceweather.com, NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, has identified a specific area on the Sun, referred to as Sunspot AR 3451, which possesses a beta-gamma magnetic field. This type of magnetic field has the potential to produce solar flares. M-class solar flares could be emitted from this region and impact Earth soon. The report states, the beta-gamma magnetic field of Sunspot AR 3,451 stores energy, 
capable of generating M-class solar flares. For those not familiar with the classification of solar flares, they are ranked based on their intensity, using a logarithmic scale similar to the one used for measuring earthquakes. The scale starts with A-class flares, which are the smallest and occur at levels close to background radiation. It then progresses through B, C, and M, with X-class flares being the most intense. It's important to highlight that X-class flares represent the most intense category of solar flares. In contrast to M-class flares with a defined upper limit, X-class flares do not have a maximum cap. This means that the intensity of X-class flares can vary widely, ranging from X1 to X10, X50, or potentially even higher. The most powerful solar flare recorded with direct measurements from space reached an intensity of X28 which took place in 2003. However, the strongest solar flare ever documented in human history predates space-based telescopes, occurring in 1859. AR-3451 Sunspot has garnered attention and was monitored closely due to its potential to increase solar activity. On October 11th, observations revealed that the Sunspot exhibited a complex magnetic structure with multiple magnetic poles displaying positive and negative charges near each other. At that time, the sunspot possessed a strong delta charge, which could result in magnetic reconnection, potentially leading to a powerful solar flare aimed directly at Earth. The Solar Dynamics Observatory has reported a fascinating phenomenon. The sun's north and south magnetic poles seem vanishing. While such an event on Earth would likely lead to a cascade of catastrophic outcomes, on the Sun, this disappearance of magnetic poles is a typical occurrence during the height of the solar cycle. As the year draws to a close, it's anticipated that the Sun's overarching magnetic field will completely reverse, aligning with the climax of solar cycle 25. However, it's important to note that the Sun is not a constant entity. It changes. One of its more prominent cycles spans approximately 11 years and is characterized by heightened activity, substantial plasma discharges, and powerful solar flares. These solar flares can disrupt our technological systems, and historically, they have resulted in significant damage and created breathtaking auroras. Todd Hoxima, a solar physicist at Stanford University, told Space Weather, In fact, it's routine. This happens every 11 years, more or less, when we're on the verge of solar maximum. As our dependence on technology grows, it raises a critical question. Are we adequately prepared for a major solar flare event? Drop your galactic feedback in the comments. If this video was a supernova hit for you, give it a meteoric thumbs up and blast off to that subscribe button. Hover a moment longer. Click the video on your screen for more universe unraveling tales.